We are back now with the two very talented stars of the hit Max show, Rap Beep, <laughs> Ida Osman and Chameleon. Oh, they play up and coming rappers in Miami who are taking on the music industry. Check it out. Can we get some press? I mean, I know somebody want to interview us. Yeah, what happened to us reporting any Pete? See, I wanted to like wait to tell y'all, but I got a succession with Partisan Fontaine. The songwriter? Yeah. You lying. Mm. He wrote for Beyonce. Yeah. And he wanna work with us. Oh. So we should point out that your boss, Issa Rae, is on 49th and 7th, making her way across the... Stuck in Hollywood. Yes. That's what y'all city. Stuck in a little... Dry. Our city is crazy. Do you like our city or not really? I love it. I mean, the, I don't love the rats. The rats can stay <laughs> on yeah. the ground, but... Yeah. Yeah. All right, talk to us about having Issa as, like, your, your boss. What's she like to work with? Lit. Is she? It's a lituation. It's a lituation. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love it. She's so professional. Like, I love watching her work. She's always there. She's always attentive. She's a punctual. Like, but I, then when we go to parties with her, she's a whole different What's she like at a party? What's she like? She open up. Fun. The home girl, yeah. the homie, for real. I, I, we're, we're we're from the Isaverse, so we like to say Isaverse, you know. We yeah, just, we just orbit like planets, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but she's she's very professional when it's time to be. It's like she's like a chameleon. She yeah. know when to yeah. turn it on and just chill. She knows when to get in a business mode. She uh -huh. just she's, that feels like she's that girl secret, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it sure does. Okay. and she let us on her boat. So she, a boat, yeah. her big a boat, yacht, our big big boat, her mm -hmm. very big boat. Um, okay, Ida, we have to talk because this okay. all happened very serendipitously yeah. for you. Yeah, you're a writer. Yeah, you're, yeah. Sta you're st in stand up, mm -hmm. and you were writing on the show. Yep. But you also kind of secretly auditioned. I did. Tell us about <laughs> How that. How did that come to me? Well, I had gotten an email that Issa was doing the show that she was doing this show called Rap. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I really want to be a part of this show, but I didn't know in what capacity. And never in a million years did I think that I would star on the show. Mm. But I, I was already a screenwriter. I'd written for Big Mouth and Betty on HBO. And I was wow. like, you know what? I can, I, I can, can probably, I can probably staff on the show at the very least. And so I got a staffing position, and then I saw that there was auditions. So I was like, okay, I'm giving Shauna so many of my stories and so many <laughs> of like my jokes and my life. Who else gonna play her, to be honest? It's gotta be you. That's how I was feeling, but I didn't tell anyone in the writer's room that I was gonna go audition. I just went and did it secretly. Oh. Didn't tell them about callbacks. I only told them when I got to the point where I had chemistry <laughs> reads with Chameleon, and, you know, we had chemistry. Well, Chameleon, Chameleon loved that. <laughs> you are, you're super cool. You're a Thank Grammy you. winner. Yeah. You have been in the music world for a while, mm -hmm. but now you're stepping into the acting world. That was new for you, too. I mean, this was, this was you're putting your toe in the water. How did you learn <laughs> And, how, and were you nervous about it? Um, I was very nervous about it. I was just like, wow, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> but then it's like, you know, I'm ready for whatever. So once once the opportunity presented itself, I just tapped right into it. You know, was it learning on the job kind of thing? Or yeah, yeah, pretty much. But yeah, you're, but you are an entertainer, <laughs> yeah. and I yeah. also loved that you were you kind of were like manifesting mm -hmm. that you wanted something new. You wanted a new yeah. outlet for creativity. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I just felt like. Music wise, I had hit a brick wall yeah. and it was just time. You know how sometimes when you feel like, okay, I don't know whether to go left, right or whatever it is, but it's, I feel, I feel stuck. So I know it's, it must be a time for elevation, but I didn't know where it was going to come from. All right. We're going to take a quick break. We heard your boss is in, in the house. So she's, she's going to come in. She's going to come in. You feel that wave you. of power? <laughs> take over the whole set. Hey, coming up right <laughs> after this. <laughs> You're back now with Ida Osman, Chameleon, and now Issa Rae. We first got to know mm. Issa as the star and creator of the hit show Insecure. And this past summer, we got to watch her in the highest grossing movie of the year, Barbie. Well, now Issa okay. is starring in a movie. It's called American Fiction and producing the second season of her hit Mac show, Rap. So how's, <laughs> how's New York traffic? That's the first thing. <laughs> you know, guys, I made it here. I'm grateful. I'm so sorry. New York traffic is New York terrible. traffic during you, the holidays? Like, you spend, I didn't know. You could spend a half hour going a block and a half. I thought L.A. was bad, but L.A. has nothing on New York. Can we talk about you at the Beyonce premiere? Oh, it was called, what What did they call it? Cozy Casual opulence. Or cozy opulence. opulence. There was nothing cozy about it, though. No, Everyone was opulent. Everyone was opulent. I was in the middle. I was like, I really just want to see this movie and eat popcorn. Let me just get <laughs> something out my closet. And people said that about me. They were like, they, she looked like she just showed up to watch the movie. And I did. You look beautiful. <laughs> people 
did go all the way. Like, we were they, confused by the cozy part. We didn't understand. She changed it. So initially <laughs> it said cozy opulence, and then the next invite was like cocktail attire. So oh! Uh, that, makes that makes sense. Yeah. We were like, we would have showed yeah. up in sweatpants and been, been like, like, yeah, some people, some people did. You, some people we, were like sweatsuits, and I was like, I'm cozy and opulent. So yeah, at the same want. time, yeah. no, do you have you and Beyonce? Do you guys know one another? Have you we met? Do. She yeah. checks up on me. <laughs> <laughs> we we know each other. I've met her several times, um, and I'm just you know such a huge. Did fan. she say she, that you were beautiful? When she we heard she said you. She said I was beautiful. Oh, did um, you cry a while ago? Uh, I held it together. I was with my friends. She came over with Jay Z, and then as soon as she walked away, we just squealed, <laughs> like, <laughs> squealed like ridiculous. Um, okay, we have to talk about this show. You were here uh, like three weeks yeah, ago. I, I live we, here. We like you to be here every yes. couple weeks. Um, but we have to talk about rap. Beep. I've been saying it like that since oh, you got here. Yeah, yeah. It, is. it really is. And these incredible women who are sitting right here with you, <laughs> mm -hmm. they said that you have been like this incredible force mm -hmm. um, and that they that you can be like, go from business to party. Yes. Okay. And back. Right. Again. And back. Y'all really yeah. said that? Thank yeah. 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 <laughs> what was it like working with these, with these women? I, it is such a joy, like, seeing their growth. You know, this was you guys' first yeah. TV show and seeing, one, one they were already outstanding, but the, the growth in season two and the places they went to, the second half of the season, people aren't ready, but they're so, they're just brilliant. And their chemistry with one another is so much fun to watch. They gave so much, like mm -hmm. even on the improv side yeah. this, this season where we were just like, oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> we're about to use this. <laughs> so there, it's, it's been a joy. And, you know, I love y'all so much. Well, thank you, you, thank you. You really, I mean, the way you talk about it, I could tell how much it means to you that you're bringing people yes. up. You're giving people a shot. You're giving people a chance who maybe, I mean, these guys are so talented. Somewhere they would have found their moment. But but that's that's something that you're kind of building your career on. Yeah, I mean, it's it's it feels mutual in that way, mm -hmm. you know, like you're in, in even creating this show like I wasn't going to be in it. So it's you're almost grateful that that people can embody these roles mm -hmm. and elevate them. So it's a it's a it's a mutual giving, you know, mm. chameleon. What can we look forward to in season two uh -huh. uh, to be entertained? <laughs> <laughs> Why you work? I get it. Yes. I get yeah. it. Drama, tea, just real life. Everything yeah. that's going on social media, like, like rap ish, is life right now. Mm -hmm. Well, and it's so cool to see it through the female lens, right? Because yeah. it in We're some ways used to that. No, yeah. and, but when you look at all the women that are the chart Killing toppers, it. yeah. it's like it. it is reflective of what's happening. Can we yeah, ask and them? girls are running. The, the world, right yeah. yeah, yeah. How about these billboards? I know. With you all, oh God. You tell us. Let's I hear. take side streets. I'm so scared. It's, so, it's like to so see prominent. it, you feel too scared. I'd be scared, especially first season. I didn't see it until I accidentally ran into it. I was so terrified to see my face that big. <laughs> but now, now I love this one. I love this you one. Do? This do you do? Like, when you see yourself on screen, when you watch, you know, any of them, how do you? How does it make you feel to see yourself? I get overwhelmed. Yeah. I, still, I think there's a, I don't know if you experienced this, but like there is a lapse between your first season, maybe your second season. First season, I could barely watch the show, but yeah. now I'm like laughing like an audience member, like, okay, Shauna, you little funny. <laughs> <laughs> you little funny girl. So I'm used to seeing my, my, myself from multiple different angles mm -hmm. now. And I, you know, I literally really watched the, the first season over and over. And over. <laughs> So many times, it's just discovering new things. Even because I'm not there when other you yeah. know, ah, you're actors are filming too. their scenes, yeah. so I'm like, oh, that's why this happened. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. So like for season two, like I watched it with my family for Thanksgiving. Oh, fun. We, we had a show on Thanksgiving, <laughs> and it was just so lit. And I, t I turned around to everybody. I'm like, it's so crazy watching this with my family. Like, this feels so good. We can come together, oh, yeah, you know, that. for something that you know. They must be so proud of yeah, you. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. We're also proud of Miss Issa. Yes. How about, how about the Barbie movie? Box I mean, office. it's a phenomenon. What? I know. What's happening there? You know what? That's Greta and Margot. It's it, like, I'm, I'm proud of them, you know, to, for Greta to have this particular vision for this movie. It could have been, it could have been bad. Could have been, <laughs> been, been a lot of 
of things, it, it, right? It was amazing. Very, very bad. But her <laughs> mind, her brilliance, Margot's performance, the cast that they got to just yeah. deliver, it was so much fun to do. The soundtrack is fire. Grammy nominated. Hello. Yeah, of course. Totally. Sure. But it's a, it, it's a pleasure to be Should a part of. Should we talk about the sequel? Yeah. There, so she said no sequel, but, but why can't we, we have, have a president? We have a suggestion. President Barbie Oh, sequel. that's what y'all want? We're looking at her. Let's look, look at like <laughs> West Wing meets Mattel yes. meets Issa Rae. Yes. Issa Rae. Wow. Is that gonna, it? Y'all gonna write? Who's gonna write it? Oh, it like, we like, got somebody that can write that. Right yeah. <laughs> I got you. I know so you very well. well. I love Gretel Gerwig. Let's do it. Uh, y'all heard it here first. It's yes. If this President happens, we're gonna rerun this tr this clip. I know yes. we will. No, and we'll, I, oh, we'll, 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 we'll sing. We have a Christmas song out. Do you Have know? you heard it? No. What is it? It's, it's called, called a Carefree, Carefree Christmas. Christmas. Everyone's it's talking charted, about it. It hit number seven. Y'all Grammy nominated? We not Grammy Not yet. Yeah. All right. A new episode of Rap drops today. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you guys.